I get a lot of questions and comments on my videos on um, the quick match that I use in all of my firework shells. Someone recently noted that it doesn't burn as fast as quick match, whereas the quick match in my videos burns kind of like that, and normal quick match burns like a snap, like a firecracker. And I'm showing you what I use for my quick match. A while ago, some of you might remember that Nighthawk and Night made a tutorial on how to make quick match from PowerDirect's quick paper gray fuse, which is this right here, and their quick match leader pipes. This quick fuse burns at 0.4 seconds per foot, which is perfect for what I use it for. This is the fastest fuse you can buy currently from PowerDirect. So how I actually make it is, this is a finished product, this is what a finished, uh, well, without the lift cup of course, but you have the ball shell, I use a pacifier technique to light and time the shell, and then I have a little bit of this gray paper fuse at the bottom for the lift cup. And for the lift cup I use a little bit of a Dixie cup with some benzo lift, and then I'll paste this up and make it look nice, and it'll look really great. And I'll show you the finished product, but, and then of course the quick match leader runs all the way up and you have some visco at the top. This is what the visco, or this is what the whole quick match system looks like. You have the visco that lights, hits this quick, quick paper fuse, and this will run down the leader. Super, it'll burn faster when it's enclosed, just like regular black match. It'll burn super quick down here, and then this exposed part will light the lift charge. And I make, what I do is, how, how I make the leader pipe, I have this um, uh, plastic dowel it's about one uh, fourth of an inch, one quarter of an inch thick. And then I take some one inch gum tape. I wet one end or one side and I just roll it up. I roll it in on itself so that this side is dry, so that the inside of the quick match is dry. And the wet part goes on the outside and makes the, the leader pipe. If that makes sense. I may do a video of that later on. And then it just, the whole thing just slides off this thing. So usually I do about one and a half feet at a time. Because that is how big my mortar is, or my three inch mortars. These are three inch shells, by the way. And let's take a look at the shell itself. If you don't know, a pacifier is um, a system of lighting. Oh, well, let me show you. Regular, don't, this is all just kind of chicken scratching, but normal ball shells, like especially Chinese shells, the lift charge. The quick match goes on here, a nice lift charge, and lift charge ignites the time fuse which burns into the shell like that. But the only problem with that is, if you don't secure your, that, if you don't hot glue that and secure that really well, the fire is going to very easily blow that in or pass around it and light the contents of, your, contents of your shell, resulting in a flower pot. And that's happened to me a lot more than I like. Um, if you look at my earlier videos, about 50% of all, well, actually more like 90% of all my shells in my earlier stages of beginning fireworks were flower pots because I was using either too much lift powder or I wasn't securing my time shell enough. I really underestimated the power of the lifting charge. So here's what I do. This bottom, see if this is the lift charge, let's just say, this faces up like that. And if you look, this is the Chinese, um, let me see if I have a, hold on just a second. We're going to try something real quick. Okay. There we go. So you see it's this, this regular Chinese uh, time fuse. Burns at about three seconds per inch. And I use an inch because three seconds for... Well, about one second for each inch of the shell I, I usually go by. And if you notice, there is a rectangular or like a wide piece of black match taped in a loop around the time fuse and then hot glued in place. So if this catches on fire, if this lights, the fire is going to pass right down and ignite the time fuse every single time it's going to do that. What I do is, I take my quick match leader, and I like the bottom to be on the bottom of the shell to light the um, lifting charge. And then I get it about like that and I measure it. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to cut a small rectangle out of this shell. 
or out of the side of this uh, leader, not shell, leader pipe. I can't talk today, folks. Here's what I'm doing. So look, there's a small thing missing. Now there's a gap, if you see. Or we just kind of like made a little gap. What I do is, take this end of the thing, and I thread it like a needle right into this loop. Over the top, and then I put this right on top of there, like so. Then, take a piece of this gum tape, also from Pirate Direct, and make it look nice, taping that up. You can also just use like a piece of paper and then use string, string will make it look a little bit more nice, a little bit nicer. Okay. So, I'm going to make this look better, but that's just kind of to hold it in place for now. And then, I slip the other cover on the top, and then I'll take a piece of this one inch, and I'll run it directly down and secure that first, or I'll secure this part down. And what I usually do, um, sometimes I'll put this on and then add like another layer or two of paste, or of tape, you know, but usually I just leave it just like this so that this is how the shell will look. In the past, I've put the quick match inside it and then wrapped it a couple layers, but as it burns, it's going to rip those two layers out or whatever. It's going to Sorry about that. But, so, um, I'll leave, or I'll just put tape this up, make it look nice, you know, make it look uniform, work out these edges a little bit, add a couple layers of uh, this thinner gum tape, Make it look really nice. Um, I'll doctor this up a little bit, make it look nice, or maybe add some paper and string, you know. Just make it look great, because I'm kind of stingy about how my fireworks look. Because it's not good enough for me if they perform great. I like them to look good. I like to just, you know, just to look at them sometimes. But So, um, that's how I do it. That's how I um, quick match all my shells. And this fire from right here is going to reach here in a fraction of a millisecond. I mean, it's going to be quick. You won't even notice. So people are going to say, oh, well, there's going to be a delay in between, you know, what if the ball shell goes off in the mortar? When there's three seconds, I can have, uh, when, there's, when the timing is for three seconds, I don't care if I lose .02 seconds for the delay from the lighting of the time fuse to the lift charge. I don't care. And also someone has told me in the past that, well, what if the fire doesn't reach all the way to the lift charge and it, you have a, you know, you have a flower pot? And I said, well, this fuse isn't going to go out. It's not just going to, like, black match. It's not just going to go out instantaneously. The only way it's going to go out is if it gets wet. And I'd be able to tell on here if it's wet. And also, just this gum tape getting wet and the water activation, this dries in a couple seconds. And the, a little bit of stickiness is not going to affect this at all. This is very stiff, and it has a paper coating on it, which is going to protect it a little bit from water. It's not waterproof at all. It'll get ruined. But just from just this paper tape or the gum tape isn't going to damage it at all. And even if it does, I have that extra coating of the extra layer of paper right here to protect it. So uh, that's how I do it. Um, next shot I'll be showing you guys these shells when they're completely finished. And uh, these are going to be shot off on 4th of July probably. Or I might shoot a couple off um, sooner than that, I don't know. I don't know if I can last till the 4th of July without shooting off a couple shells, but you never know. So, uh, thanks for watching.